checking the face, the the Twitter pages and the book oh. faces. Yeah. Welcome back to part two of our van plan. <laughs> van plan? Yeah, I like it. It rhymes. Yeah. Um, you could be Stan. You can edit that out. That's Stan. I'm Alan. I'm Heather. We're from Say La V3, and you guys are inside our van, which we are going to take with us to Europe. So, uh, we just had a video we talked about some Q&As. If you want to, please go back and check out that video. If there are some more questions in there, we'll answer another one in the future. Uh, that one ended up taking a lot longer than we thought. Yeah. I you guess. guys had a lot of questions. We had a lot of answers, so. I ramble too much. I so don't. I'll try to let Heather do most of the talking on this one, see if we can speed it up. Right. Uh, so this one, we have uh, three more topics to talk about. We're going to cover two in this video. And then we're going to do the uh, schematic on the floor for everybody so they can see uh, where we're going to put all of our stuff. So the two topics for this one is uh, why we chose the ProMaster and what's our budget going to look like. So you want to do the choose the ProMaster? Okay, first? so we chose the ProMaster basically because of this back area. Um, we needed the height yep. because we are hoping to do a drop down bed. So in order for him to be able to stand and have a bed up here, we needed the higher ceiling. Is this what, like four inches higher than? Um... It is, I believe it's like um, 76 inches tall altogether. Um, but we're gonna put some insulation, we're gonna put another roof and some pretty stuff up here. And then the floor down here. So, so... we're probably gonna lose about an inch and a half to two inches on ceiling, and then we're gonna lose another two inches for the bed. We'll explain the bed to you guys in a second. And we're gonna lose um, about an inch to, no, at least two inches on the floor from the insulation as well. So all together, it should shrink. It's going to be close to about 70 inches by the time we get done, which will give me just about an inch of walking around space for the old noggin. Luckily, she married a small guy, a short guy. That's right. We'd never, <laughs> we'd need like a sunroof if we were any taller. Um, the other reason was the width. This gives us just enough space for him to lay sideways and sleeping so that also gives us the ability instead of having a super long bed going this way we can turn it and we take up less space yep. so that was the main reason we loved the ford front area the transit but we're not going to be spending our time i mean we're going to be driving but we're not going to actually be spending our time we'll spend it here and then obviously outside so this build out section won us for the dodge pro master yep. So you would say, if you're looking for driving and comfort, we would recommend going with the Ford Transit. If you're looking for what was, in our opinion, um, a better a better canvas to build off on, um, specifically for the bed, uh, this is why we chose the ProMaster. We'd recommend that. Yeah. All right. Budget. Budget, budget. All right. So I'll give you the rundown of what we're going to be doing in our build. And you guys can kind of keep a uh, tally in your head of what you think it's going to come out to. We have an estimate. St wait for the end and I'll tell you what it is. The seats. The seats were super expensive. We talked about it in the Q&A. They were non-negotiable. We need safety. We did. So right now, that budget is sitting about $1.3,000 to get the seats in here. Who says one point three? That sounds so, so high. That $1,300. Going once. Going twice. So, uh, so that was by far our biggest cost. Uh, the floor and the insulation, I'm looking at probably like three to four hundred dollars. We're looking to do a vinyl. It's simply because it's waterproof um, and it'll be a little bit more tre uh, wear resistant. We're going to do a uh, poly floor base with some expanded foam and then we'll put um, uh, a nice birch like plywood down and then on top of that we'll put vinyl. Um, so I'm hoping with just this small space, three to five hundred dollars. All right, wall and insulation. Heather's going to be the one to um, kind of dictate where she wants me to do with the cabinets and the benches versus the countertops. So that's still kind of in the air. Our goal is to go with, um, I'm just going to use some standard uh, one by one framing and then we're going to um, make some cabinets out of that. Uh, if time permits and if I can find the right price, I'll just go get some unfinished cabinets from Lowe's and then I will um, take some time to basically uh, modify those to fit around wheel wells and up against the the, the wall itself. Mm -hmm. uh, that right there, if I had to guess, probably about four to five hundred dollars. All right, ceiling and insulation. 
Um, this one is going to be pretty modest. Uh, the ceiling is going to be a uh, hatch for, I think, I don't know how to pronounce it, like Heike or something like that. It's those big, beautiful hatches that open up. That's like a $300 bill on its own. And then we're going to do a fantastic fan. That's about three, at least a $300 bill on its own. Um, and then in the insulation piece, we'll do um, some kind of insulate. Um, and that'll be followed with what Heather decides to do for the roof. Do you have any ideas for the roof right now? No, I think it will depend on where the bed ends up because before, you know, we were thinking of two hanging beds, but now we'll just do one. So there will be some empty space. Are you insulating in between all of this? Okay. Probably just some kind of like white paneling. Okay. Something like that. I think the white keeps it very open. It's not too dark. Yeah. And then that'll be a part of... Uh, I'll, I'll figure out how to do lighting, more than likely be some um, low power draw LED lights and switches that go on that. Alright. Okay, beds and benches. Beds and benches. Okay, we kind of went over. Do I need to discuss this again? I would just hit it real quick because that was another video. Okay, so we are basically going to build a foldable table and that is going to sit over B's car seats and that will have an air mattress or some kind of foam mattress. And so that's that will be his bed. As for our bed, we are going to build a hanging bed that is, I don't know, about two inches high or so, mm -hmm. with an air mattress on it. It will come down and probably sit across the, that really moved, do you not have the emergency brake on? I might not. The, across the kitchen counter and the bench seat. And then we will inflate the mattress, sleep, and then when we're ready for travel or to cook or whatever, lift it back up after we deflate it. And then that way we've only got that two inch height instead of, you know, a full size mattress. Yep. Um, counters? Yeah. And counters. bench. Depending on our measurements and how things work out and prices, we may find a unfinished um, cabinet that would work where we can just throw on top, we're thinking either um, Corian laminate or uh, like a butcher a block, block and yeah. maybe stain it or something like that. So it all depends on what we can find, um, what's the right price, if it fits, all of that. And then for the bench, yep. what are we doing for the bench? Heather's got some great Pinterest ideas. Uh, basically we're looking to use um, some plywood, frame it up and yeah. then Something with storage, hopefully, too. Yes, yeah. definitely going to need some storage here. Yeah. Um, so that's, uh, and we'll go into more detail what's going in each one of those the storage, the water tanks, the propane tanks, the microwaves, the refrigerator, the, you know, the genie and the lamp. Everything fits in it. That's right. Uh, so, but yeah, Heather's got some great ideas on the bench, but it will be handmade. We'll probably pull those designs and plans off of uh, the internet and we'll slap it together. Yep. All right, electrical, that's your baby. Take it away. This could be a four hour conversation, so I'm gonna do it in less than two minutes, I think. The game plan here is to go with, uh, you know, the batteries are the heart of the system. So we'll start from the batteries and work our way back. The batteries itself are gonna be somewhere between 400 and 600 amp hours. I'm looking for an AGM source. Uh, I'm looking to do multiple charging uh, systems. One that's gonna come from the engine, which would be my primary. I'll go with a special battery isolator, probably the one from Blue Sea, so we can actually get the uh, charge voltage we're looking for. Um, in addition to that, coming off of it, I'm looking for a solar, um, a very small solar, just to, I want to keep the budget low. Somewhere between uh, two and 400 watts, uh, just to keep the battery trickled while we're parked somewhere uh, that's not hooked up. And then I want to have access for two types of hookups, one for 110, and then one for 220 when we get there because of the European standard. Um, in the end, my main focus here is keep everything south of the batteries. In other words, I want all DC components that I can to come off of it so I'm not worried about uh, being tied to a 220 um, electrical source in Europe and having 110 appliances. So that means coming south of the battery, uh, we're looking at an inverter. The inverter itself, we're trying to run between 2,000 and 3,000. I like to get a boosting one from Xanax. These are all pipe dreams right now because those are expensive. Um, what that would do for us is allow us to run at the most an induction plate, which would be our biggest uh, draw of energy, followed shortly by a microwave, and then uh, after that just your accoutrement of lights and you know water pumps and some of the other small intricacy stuff. So that in the shell is the electrical system. There's still a lot more. Um, I literally like just 
hit the wave tops on that one. So I didn't even go into uh, converters and chargers and all that other stuff. So uh, yes, those are all part of the plan. But I don't have those uh, the time to kind of dive into how I'm going to do that one yet. Can I erase these? Yeah. She likes to erase. Wait. I want to put the total at the end so that way everybody can see what we're doing. Okay. Well, there's the seats. All right. Water. Uh, water is just going to be basically the water pump, the water tank, uh, hoses um, to drain for gray tanks. Um, and depending on what we do for the next one, which is toilet, the black tank, uh, our goal here is to go comp. <coughs> Excuse you. Our goal here is to go with composting toilet or what we call a dry toilet. And I would love to hear from the females from this one. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, but yeah, by all you, means. Are you when you say dry, do you mean the bag toilet? It's, it's literally like a type of bag toilet. And the easy solution for us is a now, simple. I didn't know you were doing composting. I thought you were doing um, cassettes. Well, the composting toilet is basically the dry toilet. So the dry toilet is like the litter. It's kind of like a litter. Yeah, you put a bag in it. It has a separator, one for the for the liquids, and the other side switches down to the solids. You, at the bottom of the solids, it's kind of like a sawdust and some other stuff. It's kind of composting. What do you do with that? That like, one. This is where it's not a compost toilet. You take it and you throw it in the trash. A but compost do you throw toilet, all of it, even the good. I say good, even the. Sawdust, sawdust? All of it. Oh, okay. I'm just so making can... sure I'm not going to be like <laughs> cat littering that because that ain't happening. <laughs> you can see where I was going as soon as you said this. I knew, and I was like, oh no. I do the cat litter, that's it. <laughs> She'll touch cat poop, but she won't touch human poop. Oh, I don't touch it. <laughs> what I didn't touch on in the water and what it's attached to is your sink, uh, your spray nozzle, and your water heater. Water heater, we talked about briefly in the last video. It's for, um, my goal is to go with a propane because electrical is just too much work and draw. Um, so go with propane style water heater from a marine uh, setup, which is called, there's a couple out there, one's called Excel. Um, super efficient, um, super clean. The problem's gonna be propane adapters. Uh, the nice thing about that is Heather gets a long, long nozzle she can use for her shower if she wants to. She also can have hot water for washing her hair and whatever else she wants to go. So that's another part of the water piece. Heating and air conditioning. Air conditioning for us right now um, is gonna be the fantastic fan, a vent, and the doors. I'll probably throw a screen in there to keep the bugs out. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, right Maybe now, there's no bugs in Europe. That'd be nice. Hey, Europe, get rid of all the bugs. We're coming. Wouldn't it be awesome? <laughs> uh, so right now we're budgeting just for those, which will probably come in the neighborhood about thousand dollars just for the sun, sky, skylight plus the fantastic fan and the uh, screen mesh uh, if Heather really wants an air conditioning she's gonna get an air conditioning so I, my goal is to see how long it can take uh, before I spend the money for an air conditioning system if she needs one I'm gonna keep a spot empty in the build process that we can install one of the standing um, air conditioning units like six eight thousand BTU one of the smaller ones and we'll have it, I'll, I can set it up to plumb in and do a uh, exhaust and intake and then have a drip spot for it. Well, we'll definitely try it and see if we can survive. Yep, and the last piece is heat. We're gonna use a propane style heat, uh, little buddy heat. So, drum roll. The big thing that we're trying to do here is, and this should be easy. Gosh, your handwriting. Oh, hang on, hang on, <laughs> here you go. All right, that's a dollar uh -huh. sign. This is an eight. So, our goal is to keep this under $8,000 for the bill. It's only $8,000 because we spent so much money on the seat. Seats. Our original plan was like five or six. Yep. So, that kind of that brought us up. Yep. And I really, I really want to stay away from to toxic chemicals and some of the other stuff that you can use to build out the vans and the insulation and stuff like that. So, I'll be spending a little bit more on the things that we're going to be in contact with regular. But, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's the... Uh, the, the plan for the build. Um, so as always, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to comment. Let us know what you think and subscribe for more videos. Stay yeah. tuned. Have a good day. Our next video is going to be over the floor plan. We're going to sketch this yes. out. So come on back to us. Bye. Later.